<laughs> That's so funny. He just liked it while I'm doing the video. How cool is that? Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're, we're going to be talking about the Zoom F6 as an audio device, but as an input, not as an output. I have David Seamus has asked me a question, and it's a very good question. He goes, one question. At 246 in the video, I see that you set the output of the F6, but not the input. I'm confused. Weren't you using an XLR mic connected to the F6 to record your speaking? If so, what you need to input the Reaper to the F6? Yes and no. However, I'm going to show you how to set up Reaper now as an input device as well as an output device. Because I did say that you're going to need, if you're using your Reaper as an output device, you need to use your headphone out on that to go out. However, I do have it connected. And um, it's right here, but we're not using the headphone out on that. We're using what you hear, the Sound Blaster Z output, what you hear. But let's get to it right away. So when you have Reaper open, this is like the most important process uh, that you need to understand. And it's really great. If you're in Reaper and you want to use, like, how do you use all six inputs on the PC? David was asking on how why didn't you choose the input device because we weren't doing that so we're going to do it now so when you set up the input device input channels is very important so make sure uh -huh. <laughs> that's so funny he just liked it while i'm doing the video how cool is that that's really cool anyway david so um we're gonna i'm gonna tell you how to do this right now by default this comes up as two input channels all right, since we're using the Zoom F6, this bad boy has six input channels. So make sure you choose that, and I'll explain why you need to do this. Okay, and when you do this, you're telling the software that you have six inputs, and the system can see all six inputs, and I'm going to prove it to you right now. Okay, so as you can clearly see, I have input one here, input two, input four, because I did it backwards. So move it here. So you have one, two, three, four. The fourth input, I actually, you see it moving because it's actually connected. Check one, two. I'm not recording anything. I'm just showing you that it's actually working. I have the input. I have the XLR on input number four on the Zoom. These are all these are all armed, okay? And I don't have the, the cable in it. So if I, I'm going to add a fourth track, I'm going to hit power up, and I'm going to change his input to five okay and then we're going to do an insert another track we're going to activate it and we're going to change this input to six now um as you could clearly see we we are we have it set up right now for uh i have it, the microphone connected into it now i'm going to just <laughs> this is so funny i'm just going to literally unplug it from four and plug it into five i have to <laughs> it's so funny i have to turn on the inputs on the zoom on the zoom six f6 so i apologize I have to turn those volume knobs on testing one two three four so the uh, number five is actually connected right now and we're going to unplug it and then go to number six and then you're going to see number six going on now we are addressing so that means you can have all all six at the same time okay that's what that means Literally, you can have all six inputs on the Zoom F6 at the absolute same time. Um, I don't have six microphones or six XLR cables to prove that they all work at the same time, but they do. This tells you right here the inputs that they're all independent. All right, so that's how you do it. So it's options, preferences, okay? And make sure when you're on the devices, that you choose the input device and if you just choose the output device now you may not be using the uh, the output device as your as your um, zoom f6 
if you want to use your your speakers to hear it like basic speakers then you would change your output device to your sound blast or whatever you're using but you're still using a multi-track recorder as your recording device you get that it's kind of confusing because you may not be using your zoom f6 as your output device that will require the output line out go into a mixer then go into another headphone amplifier or whatever and that kind of thing and this way you're just trying to keep it all to like independent and you have your your zoom f6 is your input device for audio only and you can record six tracks at the same time but this is like this is like golden and david i hope this answers your question and i literally like when i said i was gonna do it right now and you hit a thumbs up on that that's pretty cool <laughs> so and we actually saw it live when we were recording it how, how awesome is that so um I hope that answers your question. Uh, uh, the Zoom F6 is a kick-ass product. It works really well. I use it for all my Mafia War Chronicle shoots. I have a shotgun microphone that my sound engineer uses during. I, we only use one track uh, because that's what it's. Uh, that's what we're using it for. I have a separate um, Zoom H6 that's used for. Um, other other devices and other microphones wireless microphones and stuff like that but the f6 is used for the shotgun only because it's so that microphone is perfect i did a review on that microphone and uh it, they match up really well because it sounds crystal clear but anyway guys i hope this answers your question dave <laughs> and this is probably what you're looking for but uh this is it this is how you do it so guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe take care and we'll see you next time